All right, guys, uh, we are on going an adventure right now, and this adventure has to do with a tool that I need fixed. Okay, so MacBook. Got it on the cover, hard cover, external hard drive, because I don't like running anything off these, these things. See that right there? You see that right there? Lala made that for me. Isn't it cute? But look, guys. Like, this doesn't even press down. The power isn't even pressing down. The volume is barely pressing down. Look at this. Okay, look at this. Nada. Nada, okay? Nada. Yeah, it's a little dirty. I, I might have dropped a little sauce in there, but that's why I'm here. So, uh, I have a 3.30 appointment. I'm at International Plaza. I'm over here in Tampa, Florida, for those that don't know. I'm at the Apple Store right now, and uh, it is packed. Alright guys, I came back without my laptop. Oh. I did come back with this though. <laughs> now this, this right here is a secret weapon. You want to have this. You don't want to not use this. This is the thing. When you run your projects, this is for those that want to do YouTube. When you work on something, you don't work off the laptop. It takes up too much space. And you don't just want to work off the laptop and then delete. Why would you want to do that? You can always go back in time, baby. You want to save that footage. So go and get you an external hard drive. Because even though I left the Mac, there's another one waiting for me at home. Slightly older. I'm not going to say I'm a hoarder, but I am prepared. So yeah, guys, I'm on this road thinking productivity. My thing today is productivity and focus. I've had such a hard time being productive. In a quarter mile, turn left onto on, West Cypress. So you see how that just cut me off? That's how my mind works when I cut hair, right? And I'm thinking to myself, I, I heard a very good speech by Darren Hardy. He's a publisher for a success magazine. And he was saying that one of the main reasons you don't get where you want to be, even though you are hard working, there's plenty of hard working barbers out here or just hard workers overall that watch my channel. And like, even though we work so fucking hard at, at the same time, it's like, why am I still in the same damn place? So there's a lot of changes going on in my life and my family's life this year. And I just wanna maximize, guys. Have you ever wanted to just maximize? That's my life right now, I wanna maximize. Let's backtrack a little bit. So I had a conversation with both Jeezy and Beam last night, right? And it was based on how do you run your station? You know, like I've seen Jeezy run his station before. I remember when we went, when I went to Sacramento to do that. And there you go, another distraction. Hello? Look, there's people that could do a lot of things at the same time. I'm not a firm believer that for myself, I can multitask, just doesn't happen for me. I have to be on one task at a time to be able to maximize. Like the videos that I've done up to this point, uh, both my channel and Chris Basio's channel, on Chris Perez, Christian Perez's channel, collaborations that I've done with other people, that is like, Focus, like laser focus. I don't want to be disturbed. Fonts. That's that's me. That's who I am. And I feel like, oh my God, I feel like I gotta make a turn and I haven't been paying attention. See, I can't multitask. So look, with Jeezy, he has a station that literally caters to being a content creator. He has a station where he could grab he could have his tripod and put it damn near anywhere, full 360. No pun intended. Uh, but I remember seeing it and being impressed because I've never seen that type of productivity in one in one place. So going to see Jeezy and seeing how he shot his angles, that opened my eyes. And that's the first time I even saw two ring lights in one station. That's how I even got the inspiration to do that for my own station. And it's time to go. Alright, I don't mean to stop this conversation real quick, but look, listen to me. Best Buy's about to get it right now. I'm about to get it. I like this one right here. So like this one, I have to do all this twisting while I'm cutting. This one, I could just, uh, and let go. I think I'm feeling this one right here. But I wish that it had the hook in the bottom so I could add more weight. But then again, I don't think it's going to get that crazy. But it's sturdy. This thing is sturdy. And it's cheaper. Alright, so 
So right now we're doing a, we're running it. We're running it. See if it works. We got it in the station. Are you doing average size? No, human? It's, 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 it's for a kid we can't right? do an average size human. Right? Like, why you so much he is an average size human. No, I'm not. The kid size. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, there's a whole lot going on in the shop right now. I don't really want to ruin the vibe by uh, cutting off the music and all that. That's the that's a little bit of the struggle of being a YouTuber in a barbershop, cutting hair, and you know I ain't trying to I ain't trying to get red flag for the music being played. That's another bar for y'all. If you ever want to, you know make these videos make sure music's not playing because you ain't gonna make your money but anyways i'm done i'm done talking i promise let's get we can we can we can go straight to the video okay roll the camera All right guys, so after wetting the hair, we gotta get ready to uh, get to chopping. Now, I have a confession to make. Let me get closer to the mic. Look guys, when it comes to shear work, AKA using the scissors, depending where you are in the world, the correct way might be to say scissors in the US, shears. And I know it, when I went to uh, the UK, they say shears are for sheep and scissors are for barbers. So something around those lines, now you know what I'm talking about. When it comes to shear work, I might not be the best at it, but I get the job done doing what I do. I know that I need to get better at my sections. I got some good news though. I'm gonna be moving soon, and there's, there's gonna be some, some new things that I'm gonna be doing to make sure that my game is tight. My main idea besides just having my office is I'm gonna have a mannequin in there, and I'm gonna be practicing on that thing. Okay, so right now, what I'm doing right here is using the cone to make sure I don't cut into an area I don't want to cut into. And I got the number two guard, and I'm just cutting away, baby. Cutting away. And right here, we got the number three guard. I like to go slightly higher on the guard when I have to blend into a comb over. I've been cutting this client for quite a while now, and I don't know where along the line I persuaded him to let me start tapering him. And the taper to me is what really started making his haircut pop even more. I mean, cause besides that, it's very simple haircut. Mind you though, you need simple haircuts. I don't think that there's a barber I know that wants to do a ball fade back to back. Just ball fades all day? I don't know, y'all let me know. Ball fades all day is not the way to go for me. I want a combination of ball fades, tapers, comb overs. I, I, I want variety so I can practice as many different hairstyles as possible because other than that, you're just gonna be a barber that's good at one thing. You know, and I mean, you can, you can make a lot of money. I've seen it. In my case, I wanna grow as much as I can being a well-rounded barber. All right guys, so after using the shaver on the, all the sections that I balled it out, uh, I went ahead and grabbed the masters, okay? I grabbed the masters, did my section all the way open. We're on mid now, and after that, you already know what it is. It's all the way closed, and that's just my go-to. After that, it's not like, you know, you just go through it like that and it's done. You still have to 
refine it a little bit you have to go back and and maybe uh, uh use a few different angles pay attention to the the way the hair grows this is a foundational thing that that i i generally do know but under pressure sometimes i forget things especially if i'm recording let's just keep it real a lot of people have opinions on how i cut right now but uh but uh but uh i would say that the ones that have something crazy to say have never even attempted to record their own haircuts or record themselves period so it's just different it's just different i promise you it's different i promise you it's different J hits on the beat. right now i have all, uh right here i have the one all the way open and then after i open it i close it there it is there it is I don't use the Andis system too much. I need to, cause damn it, I mean, I spent $300 on those clippers, what? I better start using it. You know what it is? I think it's that, it's the fact that I don't have the guards right next to me. I put the guards on the other side, I'm not a lefty. So it's just easier for me to go for the wall system than it is the Andis, so I'm gonna have to do something about that, okay? Okay, so after going through my system with the Andis guard system, I have to go back with my walls. And I feel like with the wall, because I just use it so much, it makes me feel like I'm giving it the best I can. You know what wall does for me? It assures me that everything's gonna be okay. That's what's going on right now. Okay, now as you can see, as you can see, that hair in the back is growing in many different directions. So, I think, looking looking at this now, I should have made this taper higher. I should have made this taper higher. Damn, regrets. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, man. There's times you look at a cut afterwards, and then you realize there's things that you could have done better. I don't care who you are. There's things you could have done better. And being a barber, it's not like you see the person you cut the next day. You just cut them that one time and you don't see them for maybe another week, two weeks. But seeing it now, for sure, next time he comes, I'm gonna do this taper way, way higher. Just to make it pop, just to make that transition pop. And I know he'll let me, cause he's all about the tapers now. Damn. Let me know in the comments below if you think the taper should have been high. Why am I all over? Here we go again. All over the place with the with the clippers. You know what it was that day? And I could tell. I turned the audio off on the background, but I remember that there was a lot of craziness going on, crazy conversations with the barbers, and I think that got that got me off my game. So imagine you're trying to focus on cutting your client. You're trying to record, so you're looking back and trying to run not only the camera behind you, but also that GoPro, and you have just the funniest conversations going on at, at the same damn time. You feel me? At the same damn time. 
So I might have to just be antisocial when I do these videos and not talk to nobody so I can focus. You know, and, and I'm not gonna say I'm not like that during the day. There's times I get like that. I'm trying to get in my zone for things. And it's, it's difficult, man. Especially if you work long hours in the shop. You, you got no choice. You gotta interact. You don't wanna you don't wanna just be that guy, that black sheep that doesn't talk to nobody. I mean, it's it's possible, but I think long term it's it do, it goes nowhere. You gotta you gotta build with the with the shop, you gotta interact at times. Okay, so right here we got the number one and a half fabulous guard that I use on my walls. We're just going through it, baby. We're just going through it. Clear it out. Clear it out. Ooh, them angles though. The angles are nice. See, these are the things I'm talking. See, right now I'm still fresh to this game and I'm just trying to get the best angles. I can't wait till this is this just comes naturally. I'm happy I got those angles though. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get them right, baby. Let's get them right. Okay, clip it hopping, same system. I, I think I, by this time I was getting a little frustrated because I specifically remember blending into his beard. I'm like, this is going, this is a little tough. Not too, not as tough as Justin, my, my last video, but it's just like, see, I'm, I'm bringing out the trimmers and I'm trying to get a more fluid blend. Um, Maybe next time, instead of just balding it out straight, I'll do it at an angle, like a V or something. I've done that before and it works out, it works out well in most cases. I gotta start getting these clients to come in quicker, man. I'm booked, but I wanna be booked weeks in advance. I wanna get, that's, that's my next goal. That's where I want to be. And I know posting more often is going to help. I got to get my game on Instagram tight. Woo, it's going to be a busy year, guys. It's going to be a busy year. Mm, here we go. Yo, I'm super, super happy, by the way, that I got those trimmers hitting. Because before, I couldn't even use it around that area. Especially that area. Man, I had clients irritated. I had clients scraped up. Let me stop capping. It, it was just a client or two. After noticing one client, I was like, I ain't gonna use them on nobody's neck until I fix these. That by far is one of the most annoying things to, to get your trimmers to, to the right point where they're hitting, but they're not irritating your clients. It takes a little time and patience, but you gotta learn how to do it. You don't, you can't rely on nobody to do it for you. You know, you can at, at certain points, but you know, people change on you now. People change on you. You gotta, you gotta learn how to do that yourself from time to time now. Ooh, y'all see that finger? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Go back, go back, go back. Do you see that middle finger gain? Do you see the middle finger gain? Okay, check this out. Now, when I have the trimmers and I'm working around areas that either that person can move around a lot or maybe I'm in the, in a weird position or, I mean, maybe, I mean my hand, I, I guess my hand's a little stable. Yeah, it's pretty stable. I would say my hand's pretty stable. But either, even then, I just like to play it safe. And not to mention, I just learned that under all the barber shops of my boy Basio. He, uh, he always taught me, you know, use the middle finger, babe. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say babe, but I'm saying babe. Not to him, but never mind. But you gotta use the middle finger. You got to use the middle finger to stabilize. If you don't have a middle finger, use the finger after that. But use one of your fingers. I never tried a pinky. But if you have a middle finger, use it. So right when you get all up in the area, right there, you see the middle finger? And from the middle finger, you just start tilting forward. Rakata, mira eso. 
Lo ve, lo ve. Instead of just, a lot of things can happen if you just go. I'm not saying it won't work, but a lot of things can happen. So, if you want some stabilization, middle finger up, okay? Middle finger up. Oh, and by the way, guys, please make sure you get your client's nose hair. Don't be out here getting grossed out between nose hairs and ear hairs. Just please, it's still hair. It's not like you're, you're, they're asking you to shave their back. Although, there are clients that have asked that. Not to me. Dre did it, though. Dre actually cut. I ain't gonna talk about it. Okay, I'll talk about it. Yo, Dre literally cut a guy's back. My man walked in to the shop. No lie. No lie. He asked, yo, y'all shave backs? Long story short, Dre did it back here. I can't, we gotta get back into this video, my bad. All right, so right here, we're, we're doing the details. I'm stretching out the skin. One thing that I came to find out is when I'm using shave gel, I, I get the shave gel around this area, right? And you need this area to stretch, right? So try to dry that out. Sometimes an issue is that you still leave it there or I still leave it there. I ain't trying to put it on y'all, but me, I would leave it there and it, it would slip. My finger would slip. So make sure you dry it off with a towel. So there it is. There it is. I'm, I'm satisfied with this cut. You know, there's only so many things I could do. I feel with the knowledge that I have right now. Who knows? I mean, maybe he'll grow it out a little bit more on top and we could do some woo! Look at that back, baby! Look at that neck! Yo, shout outs to all my hairy clients, man. Shout outs to all of them. I'm not ashamed, bro. I will shave enough. I'll, again, I ain't a back shaver. I don't know if you throw a 50 at me, though. I might do it. I might do it for 50. I don't know about 20 though. For for the back, maybe 25. Maybe 25. Let me stop capping. Damn, but the back though? Oh no. We'll see you next time. Alright, before I end this video real quick, let's see what's in here. Dre, Dre uh, put that pressure on me. I don't know, everybody in the, in the barbershop thinks it's a brick. What do y'all think? Is it a brick? Yo, what y'all think? Look at that. Yo, who's that though? I don't look like that anymore, but I do look fly. So your boy's gonna be a guest speaker at this event, EWP. But if you wanna come through, see your boy speak, make sure you sign up, get your tickets, cause I will be in there, it's gonna be Liddy. EWP is gonna be March 28th. Let's see. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna put the flyer. I'm gonna, Dre, can it, can I get a digital flyer? All right, I'm gonna get a digital flyer because I can't. You can't see all the details from here. I mean, I guess you can. Hold up. Boom. Freeze. All right, let's get back into this video. Jay hits, finna drop the, drop the face.